Money in the Bank is on Saturday, and in this video today, we got my predictions for Money in the Bank. Will it be Yeet in the Bank? Will Jey Uso win? Find out. Uh, or will it be Master in the Bank from Chad Gable? You're going to have to find out in this prediction video here today. It's going to be an absolute banger of a video, so I hope you guys do enjoy it. But yeah, yeah. So, do you guys like this setup? Because in this video today, we've got my Money in the Bank predictions for 2024. Do you guys like the new setup for prediction videos? If you guys like it, I'm going to be keeping it. We got the screen in the back, so I'm going to have the matches on the screen. We're going to have the figures in the ring for the people who's in the match. So if you guys like the setup, let me know in the comments, please. I think it looks great. Uh, I'm probably going to put the camera. I'm going to have to see what I can do with the camera. But yeah, we're going to set it all up. It's going to be good. So uh, yeah, enjoy the predictions. Let's freaking get into it. Okay, the first match we're going to be talking about. It's for the women's money in the bank. It's the women's money in the bank ladder match. I don't know if I should turn on a ring light and add a bit of lighting to this. Or does this look okay? Like, are we okay with this? Um, okay, so the people we got in the match. We got Naomi, Zoe Starks, Chelsea Green, Tiffany Stratton, uh, Lyra Valkyria, and EO Sky. The only figure that I do actually have in this match um, is EO Sky. She did win it last year. So, I don't think she's going to win it this year. She is probably one of the favorites uh, in a way, kind of. But, um, yeah, I do have the figure of EO Sky. But, anyways, is there any point even putting her there? We'll just put her there, anyways. Just so, I mean. Mm. But, yeah, we got the women's match. Uh, let's predict it. Starting off with Zoe Starks. I don't think she's going to win it. Naomi, I don't think she's going to win it. Um... Who else? We got Lyra, Eo, Tiffany, Chelsea. I think that Lyra Valkyria, she's kind of too new to win it. It kind of wouldn't make any sense for her to win it. The champs right now are Liv Morgan and um, what's it called? Bailey. And I think Bailey will probably get beaten. I think Bailey will lose to Nia Jax at SummerSlam, or she's going to lose to, or she's going to lose to Tiffany Stratton. Tiffany Stratton or Nia Jax is going to take the title from Bailey, and Rhea is going to take the title from Liv. So Lyra, Cal Lyra Valkyria just doesn't really fit into this, um, what's going on right now with women's titles. So I don't think she's going to win, if I was to predict. Wouldn't be saying her. She could, I think. Most people are saying her or Tiffany, but I don't think she has a chance of winning. Uh, Eos Guy, she won it last year. I don't see her winning it this year. I see, like, there's no point of giving it to Eos Sky. Again, when she's already had the briefcase, like she had it a year ago, I think that would just be absolute pointless if they were to give it to her because she had it last year. And what the hell's the point of giving it to her again? Because like she was kind of born with the championship any as well. Like I didn't really like her title reign, so I'm not interested in seeing her as the champ again, anyways. So I don't think that she would even be a good winner. Then we got uh, Chelsea Green, who's definitely a possibility, right? Chelsea Green is such a possibility to win this match. Uh, I could definitely see them going down this road and giving it to Chelsea Green or Tiffany Stratton. So I'm between Tiffany Stratton and Chelsea Green. These two are who I would have to go with. I mean, I'm not really looking forward to the women's matches as much as I'm looking forward to the men's, of course. And some of the people in here I wouldn't have in here. Zoe Starks. And probably, probably either Naomi, I mean, I guess she's, she's been on TV, she's been on TV a lot, she can add spots to the match, so can Eos Sky, so they do work, so I don't know, the, the match isn't the greatest, I probably wouldn't have had Lyra and Zoe in there, everybody else is fine, I think they're the two people that actually would take it out, now looking at it, but I mean, I think it's good to give um, the new up-and-comers a chance, because I know Tiffany Stratton and Chelsea Green are both up and comers, but they like deserve to be in this match. You know, they've they're gonna be they're pushing them right now. But Zoe and Lyra, not as much. Well, Lyra has been, but you know, not as much. But anyways, I'm gonna predict that I, I don't know. I'm gonna predict Tiffany Stratton. I'm gonna go with Tiffany Stratton. I could be wrong, but I'm not really sure if I see them putting it uh don't even, I'm not sure if I see them giving, I was going to say putting it, but it's not belt, so I'm, you know, putting it on, you know, so I'm going to say uh, they're going to give it to Tiffany Strand. don't see them giving it to Chelsea Green here, she could, 100% is a possibility, but with her gimmick and all, it works, but I don't see it, so I'm going to go Tiffany Strand next match. Okay, the next match we're going to be talking about is Team Solo versus Team Cody, 
It's going to be a good match. Not really the match that I'm looking forward to. Like, not a match that I really care for. It's just one of these big six-man tag team matches that WWE loves to do. Vince McMahon, everybody used to joke, oh, Vince McMahon loves doing these matches. Hasn't changed one bit since Team Solo, Team Cody Rhodes. Like I was saying, I haven't been... It's not really a match I'm looking forward to that much. I honestly think... That Randy Orton has been bucked so bad since his return. He had an absolute banger with Logan Paul and Kevin Owens. But other than that, he's done absolutely nothing that has interested me. What the hell are they doing with Randy Orton right now? Hopefully this leads to him versus Cody at SummerSlam. And he turns on Cody and Kevin in this match. But I hear that it's meant to be Solo versus Cody at SummerSlam. So if I have to sit true, Solo versus Cody at SummerSlam... For the main event at pro at like 2 a.m. in the night, and then it'll probably go to about three, half three. Holy fuck, Roman Reigns better return because I do not want to see a true Roman versus Cody. That match is a Roman. When I say Roman versus Cody, I love Roman versus Cody. Roman versus Solo. I apologize, I'm hungry. But uh, yeah, Roman versus Solo or Solo versus Cody. Jesus Christ, sorry. Solo versus Cody. Don't want it. Randy versus Cody, hopefully that's what we get out of this match. But anyways, you guys want my prediction for the match. That's just my thoughts on the match, though. Just kind of saying what the rumors have been saying. My prediction is, right? My first prediction that I thought of, right? Is the Bloodline win. Because, well, the new Bloodline, or whatever you want to call them. The, the fake Bloodline. The fake Roman Reigns and the fake Ursos, as, as CM Punk said, right? One of my predictions is Bloodline, and my other one is we get a return from Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso comes back, and basically, he doesn't help these win, really. He doesn't really help them, but he's just basically coming back to get back at Solo. He's coming back to get back at Solo for what Solo did, right? So let's think about it like this, right? Jimmy... Still has to come back, right? Jimmy still has to come back. Robert's probably going to come back at SummerSlam. So, I don't see them bringing back Jimmy and Robin both at SummerSlam. We need to make, we need to emerge the OG bloodline with Jay, Robin, and Jimmy. Jay's already there. Jimmy and Robin need to return. This is a perfect opportunity for Jimmy Uso to return. So, I'm going to predict. Jimmy returns here. Jay's on the show. We're talking about Jay later. He's in the men's money in the bag. Jay's on the show. So we're going to get more to Jimmy and Jay later. But I'm going to predict Jimmy returns. And this is WWE, right? This can go two ways. This is WWE said they make the new bloodline uh, lose a lot, right? That's basically what I'm saying. This is what's going to happen. Look at damage control. Look at the amount of times they lose. That was god-awful. That group was so bad because they lost every important match that they had. I hope that doesn't happen to Solo's bloodline, but they're going to lose to Roman's bloodline anyway. Anyways, two predictions here. Randy turns on Kevin Owens and Cody. Bloodline win. Or, or, Jimmy returns and Cody, Kevin, and Randy Orton win. That'd be the two predictions I'd go with. That's two outcomes that WWE could definitely go for. But I only got to go for one because you can't do two predictions. But I'm putting the boat out there because, you know, if I had to bet money on it, Cody's team. Cody's team all the way. Next match. Because WWE love making the new factions, the new groups, or these groups lose a lot. Like, look at damage control. This bloodline's going to lose a lot. I'm going to predict that maybe the, not Tamatunga, Tamaloa gets pinned. But uh, yeah, let's go on. Braun Breaker versus Sami Zayn for the IC Championship in Toronto, Canada. Sami Zayn is from Canada. I'm not sure where Sami Zayn is from Canada. I forgot. I, if it was, was it the last place that they were in when they went to Canada in the Elimination Chamber? Or was that his hometown or not? I don't know. I can't remember if that was, if it wasn't. I can't remember where Sami's actually from in Canada. Is it Quebec? Is that, I probably pronounced that wrong. From Quebec, Canada. Yeah, that's where he's from, isn't it? I think that's when they introduce him. They always say something like that. But anyways, I think that's where they're from. Where, where he's from. I'm pretty 100% sure that's where he's from. I know he's not from Toronto, but he is from Canada. And I don't think it was Quebec or however you say it. The Latin in Elimination Chamber. It might have been. Anyways, the feud for this has been good. I've really enjoyed this. I thought their promo on Monday Night Raw was solid. 
do I think Sami Zayn is going to lose to Braun Breaker, though? Like, that's the kind of question. Like, it's kind of, like, is Braun really going to win a title already? Like, he hasn't been on the main roster for that long. He was appearing on SmackDown a while back. Never did much. He just had squash matches. Then he got drafted to Raw, and they bucked him really good on Raw. I think he's been really good. He took out Ricochet, took out Dragunov, took out Sami Sheamus. You know, that's kind of what he's been doing on Raw, right? He's just kind of been taking out people. Really good. Booked him like a monster heel. Love it. My one complaint about Braun Breaker on the main roster is his theme song. Terrible theme song. His old one was an absolute banger. So, don't know why they changed that. Anyways. Uh, I don't know. I think this is where Sami's title reign could come to an end. The only thing about it is, this is in Canada... Someone could cause Braun Breaker. Sheamus, Ludwig Kaiser, I can 100% see it happening. <sighs> I could be wrong, but I don't know if I see Sammy losing here. It's just, WWE does these long title reigns these days, and it's early enough for Braun Breaker. It would be good for Braun Breaker to win. Personally, I wouldn't have booked to this match because I think we need to keep Braun Breaker undefeated. I could see Braun Breaker winning, though. Jesus, this is extremely hard to predict. It would be, it would be super, like, WWE do this all the time, they make the hometown guy lose, but I mean, like, come on, do we really want to do this to Sammy? I don't want to see Sammy lose, I'm really enjoying him as the IC champion right now, I think he's doing an absolute phenomenal job, so I'd love if Sammy wins this. <sighs> Another thing I gotta say is, Chad Gable doesn't beat him, but Braun Breaker does, I'm not a fan of it, I don't really want Braun Breaker to win this, I'm gonna predict Sammy, I could be wrong though, I think I'm gonna be wrong, but you know what, I'm gonna go Sammy. My prediction is Sammy. Next match. Zet Rollins versus Damian Priest for the World Heavyweight Championship. Can we please not call him freaking anymore? Zet freaking Rollins. Get rid of that name, please. I don't know. I'd liked I liked it for a while. Nah, I mean, you know what? Just call him Zet Rollins. Zet freaking Rollins is such a better nickname. Uh than just like come on, get get rid of that name. Anyways, hopefully they did. I'm pretty sure it's gone because they haven't really introduced him as that. Anyways, for the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, should be an absolute banger match. Damien Priest has been an amazing champion. I would give his title reign so far an 8 out of 10. That's how much I've enjoyed him as a champ. And he could lose here. If he loses here, it's still probably going to remain an 8 because I want Damien to win. But uh, yeah, let's talk about it, right? Damien or Zet faces, uh, faces Gunther at uh, SummerSlam. I need to find my Gunther. All right, we'll keep Gunther there. Right, so the winner faces Gunther at SummerSlam. I'm just going to fix this out. Winner faces Gunther at SummerSlam, right? I can see them doing Priest. I can see them doing Zeth. <sighs> you know what? If Priest loses, if Priest loses, he leaves Judgment Day. He's done with the Judgment Day. The Judgment Day has been lying to him behind his back. The Judgment Day has been lying to Priest is what I think, anyways. I think they've been lying, right? I think Dominic and Liv are actually, like, a thing. Dominic's denying it. Dominic and Finn want Liv in. They want Liv in the Judgment Day. They want Rhea gone, right? They want to Liv in the Judgment Day. I'm telling you. This is the storyline that WWE is doing it. Is doing. I can see them doing it. They want Liv in the Judgment Day. So, I think... That Priest is going to lose. Unfortunately. It pains me to say that. Because he's had one of the best title reigns. In a, in a long time in my opinion. I think he's had a better title reign than Cody. I'm sorry. I just. I do. Even though I think Cody's done a phenomenal job. I think that he's had a better title reign than Cody Rhodes. I'm going to be 100% honest with you there. So my prediction is. Unfortunately. Are they really going to give us the Z? And then we have to watch that Gunther. And we have to watch that lose the title. That would be it absolutely horrible god damn i could see them doing see the the reason i'm going with death is because only because i see them doing finn damien at SummerSlam. wwe try to squish as many matches into SummerSlam. so if we get if Zet winning here we get Zet gunther we get damien finn we get punk drew you know what I mean? We get Cody Solo, Cody uh, Randy. You know, where they fit so many matches into the show. They're going to have to fill this mat, this pay-per-view up at shows. I, fee I see Finn turning here. Seth wins. Moving on. Judgment Day turn on Priest. Men's Money in the Bank ladder match. Let's freaking predict it. Absolute banger of a match. Honestly, 
I think this is the best men's money in the bag leather match I've seen in a long time. Last year's, I was at it live. The match was a banger. The winner was right. Phenomenal match. There were some people in there I wouldn't have had in there, like Shinsuke, Santos Escobar. Wouldn't have had them in there. But they were great on the match. Actually, I would have had Escobar in there. Banger, you know what? Last year's and this year's are very close. I'd actually have them very... I'm going to have them equal. Because the match is an absolute banger. Love that match. Seeing it in person. Seeing it live was just absolutely phenomenal. Ricky Shane, Logan Paul spot as well. The botch. That match was just great. That match was... Just, I love Money in the Bank ladder matches. Right? Where's my briefcase? i got to show for the Money in the Bank. i got to show the Money in the Bank. Right? Here we go. Got the Money in the Bank briefcase in hand. It's for the Money in the Bank. You already know it. Let's predict it. Starting off the first... Person who I don't think is going to win it. It's going to be Carmelo Hayes. Too young. Not ready for it. Would love it. Yeah, I love Carmelo Hayes, but he's not winning. Andrade, no chance. No, absolutely no chance. He's done like not a much on TV. It's going to be a banger of a match. He's going to absolutely deliver. Andrade is so good. They need to put him with Selena Vega again. God damn it. I'm like, come on, make it happen. LA Knight. I'm saying it, I'm predicting it, everybody else, you know how it goes. LA Knight ain't winning it again this year. I love LA Knight, I'm a huge LA Knight fan, but you know what's going to happen? Oh my god, I missed twice. Boom! Logan Paul's going to knock him out, or he's going to take him out, you know. I hate the one lucky punch thing, but hey, Logan Paul's going to take him out. Logan versus LA Knight, Summer Slam, so that's how LA Knight doesn't win the match. Then we're down to three. White six are going to cost Chad Gable. Or could it be Otis? Never know. But uh, yeah, I think white six are probably going to get involved. And that's how Gable's not going to win. Or Jay and Chad cost each other. And Drew wins. But I don't see that. So white six takes out Chad Gable. So Andrade, Carmelo Hayes, not that hard to take out. LA Knight. Logan Paul. LA Knight takes, gets taken out by Logan Paul. You know where I'm going with this. CM Punk takes out McIntyre. That leaves one. It's Yeet in the bank. Like I said, this is how we get the U This is another step to get the Usos. Boom. I don't know. Oh, you know, he's going to take him out. GTS. McIntyre gets taken out. And it's Yeet in the bank. Drop a Yeet in the comments if you want Jay Uso to win the Meds Money in the Bank ladder match this year. That was the predictions. Thank you a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Mindful Figures. Mindful Figures out.